Glad to be back here with uh, you this morning and uh, just to cover a few things, probably six different projects that are going on in the county level um, before I talk about what's happened at the county commission meeting tonight. I've already talked to you about the THDA grant for seniors trying to stay in their home. Again, I remind you to holler at Jim Kittle on that one. I will say that Jim is also doing something else for our seniors. He's putting together, along with Susan Shaw in our office, a program of probably four or five or six months in a row where we will offer this uh, uh, communication, I guess, event will probably be the best thing. It will be in the county commission room. It will be during the day. There'll be some refreshments offered. But we know there are a lot of uh, senior services that are out there that are free for our seniors. And we want to make sure that our seniors in Wilson County know about those. So Jim is working on taking care of that along with Susan. And you'll hear more about that to come. And hopefully we'll come back and even actually just do a program on that with Ms. Bush. Um, also, senior rides. Uh, you may have heard Senior Rides Nashville, Senior Rides Williamson, Senior Rides Sumner. Those are, it's kind of like uh, Uber for seniors, uh, you might say. And uh, it will be something that we're hoping to get started here. Susan Shaw is helping us uh, get that started. It will take a little bit of initial startup money. We'll reach out to our representatives like Susan Lynn and Clark Boyd and Senator Mark Pody to see if they can kind of help us with the funding. But what this will be will be an organization where it will take volunteers that will drive our seniors around. Now you will have to pay a $49 fee, uh, annual fee to be a part of that, but you can get a ride anywhere you want to as uh, long as it doesn't last over three hours and no more than two stops for six dollars and that will get our seniors if they want to go to the store they want to go to the doctor they want to go wherever they they need to go this will be a great uh, opportunity to get those folks around we do have mid cumberland which offers a lot of times but scheduling becomes an issue a lot of times with those and so we think this will be a great addition to wilson county we're also starting a program called volunteerism uh, susan shaw is heading this up and they've got a steering committee on it and this is to give our seniors you know, people that are 55 and over that have retired that really want to do more than just stay at home and watch the process right. They still have a lot of activity and youth and energy involved and, and uh, time to spend. And so we want to plug them in with other nonprofits across the county uh, so that we can connect our volunteers with the people that need volunteers and, and get some things accomplished there. So we're excited about that program. If you have an interest in that, call our office uh, at 444-1383 uh, and speak, ask to speak to Susan Shaw and she will take care of you on that. Susan's also been a great part of our drug-free Wilco, uh, which talks about things uh, it, that you've heard about the opioid crisis. And so she's gotten together with several other folks that have really got this um, drug-free Wilco off the ground. It's a drug coalition. Um, it had been started many years ago, but never really got off the ground. And they have done a tremendous job of making that happen. And I hope someday she comes by and does a story on that for you so you will learn a little bit more about that. But if you have an interest in being a part of that initiative, contact Susan Shaw. And the last thing that I will give you today on our projects is a homeless coalition. You know, we, we realized that there were some homeless issues in Wilson County. Uh, and two things really we wanted to do there. One was to develop a booklet so that you would be able to know uh, and what to do if you run across a homeless person. We have a lot of resources that are, that are afforded here in Wilson County of different people that are offering different things, but we felt like a lot of people didn't know what was out there. So therefore, we put together a booklet uh, so that we can uh, make people aware. And Jim Kittle in our office is working on that with another group of people. John Grant uh, with uh, the Compassion Hands has been a, a big player in this role as well. And then we're also working on coming up with a system called a HMIS system. And that is where people can enter the data for homeless people that are in Wilson County. Now that does two things for us really. One, it gives us a chance to qualify for some grant money based on the amount of homeless that you have in Wilson County. But let's just say for an example, there was a person that came to your church and, and uh, they give them a hundred bucks, you know, to help them kind of get started for the day. And, and it's maybe that person was, uh, maybe going to go to another church and get another hundred dollars. Well, when they put them in the system, that kind of disqualifies that opportunity there and helps us to spread the money around to everybody that we need to. But it also just gives us a good uh, fit on what we have out there as far as homelessness goes and helps us to get the grant funds that we, maybe we need here in Wilson County to take care of that population, to get those people back on their feet and back into being a productive citizen, uh, you know, in our community. So those are six good projects, and if you want to be involved in something, please call our office and we'll give you more information.